New questions about a controversial courtroom wedding that ended with a local judge serving cake to a convicted killer. A woman has now come forward calling that wedding a fraud because she's likely still married to that killer. New at 5, 10 News reporter Michael Chen looks at the odd action the man reportedly did instead of signing the divorce document. This was a smiling Danny Desbro minutes after being sentenced to 53 years to life for murder. This is his wedding photo. I was smiling because I was happy. I uh, was getting married to my love. In early October, Desbro talked about the courtroom wedding that attracted national headlines. The saga begins with a 2003 cold case, the murder of Kevin Santos, finally solved. Desbro claimed he was defending himself in a fight but was convicted of first degree murder. Judge Patricia Cookson sentenced him, then agreed to marry him and his fiancee. Later, the judge presented a vanilla cake she had baked herself, but was that wedding legal? In my mind, that wedding was legally ridiculous. Meet Destiny Haas, the woman Desborough married in 2001, according to this marriage certificate she showed us. She says she tried to legally divorce him several years later, but he ripped up the papers. Recently, Haas says he claimed he finally did sign the divorce documents under the name Barney Rubble. So we poured through the court records and we did find evidence of a marriage certificate. According to the records, there is no evidence of a divorce. Legal experts say if there was no divorce, Desbro's new marriage is void. Haas says she came forward because she felt for the murder victim's family after they learned of the wedding. I felt a lot of pain, pain for the family. So how did this happen? A county spokesperson tells us they don't have the resources to do background checks. Anyone who applies for a marriage license must confirm they aren't already married under penalty of perjury. The question now is Desbro's list of crimes about to get longer. Michael Chen, 10 News. Though the person officiating the marriage usually goes by the license, Judge Cookson reportedly asked Desbro to swear under oath that he was truthful on his marriage license. Desbrow's new wife didn't respond to our calls, and the city attorney's office says they'll review the case if a police agency refers the case.